Welcome everyone to another episode of Atomic Rooster Gaming. Thank you for joining me. Today we are continuing the gameplay through Mass Effect 2. Uh, this will be part 2, so I just barely got into it. I read through the intro and uh, not too much other than that. If you'd like to watch that video, please go back and watch that episode 1 on my channel. So you can get caught up with what's going on. So far, not too much has happened. Uh, Shepard got killed. He got floated out into space. They uh, found his body. They brought him back. Reconstructed him. Built him to be better, faster, and stronger than he was before. For about four billion dollars, I think they said. Billion. That's billion with a B. And uh, he's ready to go. So right now, we're just going to go over here, we're going to talk to the elusive man, wherever he's at. Uh, he's the boss, whoever, uh, the boss of Cerberus, uh, the corporation or cult or whatever they are, uh, that um, helped get him alive again. Customize the gear, maybe at some point. So we are looking for the elusive man. Voiced by what I think is Charlie. No, I'm sorry, Martin Sheen. The uh, father of Charlie Sheen. Uh, pretty good with voices too. So let me know in the comments what you think. Who you think this voice is right here? Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I, say March, I thought we'd be way. meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. You think the guy who calls himself the elusive man is just gonna show up on day one? Come on. And what do we know? And what exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one man, one very specific man, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your the memory Reapers. still intact. How are you feeling? So the Reapers were the big thing in Mass Effect 1. If you haven't watched uh, or don't not familiar with that story, go catch up. It's an amazing story. But in the end, the Reapers are an ancient, thought to be extinct, alien race that turns out to be a, a, a ship sized thing that has mind control powers and they're trying to wipe out everything else that's not them uh, so we defeated them in Mass Effect 1 now we're here and nobody really believes that they exist except for us who we've seen but other than that people don't believe that we've seen them so alright uh, skip the pleasantries bro cut to the chase what are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You've bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. <laughs> and they're still smoking cigarettes in the future. Alright, let's just say maybe I believe you. That's the investigative thing. Okay, let's find out about Cerberus, because I think I remember Cerberus like a little bit from the first one, but let's just get refreshed on that. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. About these abductions. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. 
Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. So they're just randomly picking up people here and there. Alliance aid. If this is a threat against humanity, you need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. And that was two years ago, because it took him two years to get him back to where he was, to get Shepard back to the state that he was to wake him up. Okay, so maybe I believe the guy. I mean, I know the Reapers are real, so where do we start? If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right yeah. direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. So Charlie Sheen, uh, whose father is Martin Sheen, who I think this guy's voice does, uh, Martin Sheen was the guy who played in Apocalypse Now like a hundred years ago. A bunch of other movies. He was in the Spawn movie, if you ever saw that one. Not a very good movie. He was the uh, president in that movie. The voice is almost identical to this guy. It's got to be him. Alright, so let's find out. Uh, I'm supposed to trust them? Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You Shot expect me to right trust the them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. All right, let's find out what for this now. dude wants. What are you expecting? What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Level up. Spend your points. Gain experience to level up. Look for clues that might explain what happened to the missing colonists. Investigate the missing colonists. A ship is waiting for you in the hangar bay. Take it to Freedom's Pass. This one's a typical alliance. Cerberus. Inclusive tycoon calling himself Elusive Man. Renegade conversions, you get a lot of stuff in this. Alright, so just let me uh, take a second to say thank you for watching. Um, if you are enjoying the content, or honestly, even if you're not enjoying it, please like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment tell me how I can do this better because this is my ultimate goal for a while I want to uh, create content specifically video game content uh, for YouTube and I want to play games that are interesting that people want to watch and create content that's um, you know entertaining so that being said if there's uh, some way that I could do this better opinion or if there's mistakes I'm making please let me know because only through mistakes growth and all that kind of stuff can be achieved so don't be mean but you know constructive criticism is always appreciated so here we go Colonel Shepard's gonna go on his first mission after uh, being re uh, I don't want to say reincarnated but some uh, more skills to do. So three for that. Adrenaline rush or... Yes, yeah, so yeah, okay, now I can get there. Concussion shot so I can get to certain heights. Just like the other ones. I think they open other ones, so you have to get certain heights on the... But the other game, there was a lot more stuff to, like... There was probably 15 in the last game. 
of different skills you could upload or different things you could do. There's a lot less choice here. That's, um... Hmm. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna... F one, two, three, f six of these and four are open, so... I guess it is what it is. Alright, new freedom's progress. Investigate the missing colonists. New Freedom's Progress says investigate the colony. So, same stuff, right? Same deal. Okay. I guess we're gonna go to the colony. Codex is what? Plans and location. Freedom's Progress Colony was once a typical Alliance settlement. But following complete communications blackout and its apparent destruction is now a lightning rod for anxiety and dread in the galactic human community. The communications blackout followed an upgrade of the colony's small military force, supplemented by mechs and security drones, with high-powered tower-mounted guardian lasers. Colonists complained about construction cost overruns, delays, noise, and damage to the local environment. They also feared the defense array could be seen as provocative to their world's neighbors. Such fears may not have been baseless. Authorities have still offered no explanation for the communications blackout fueling rumors of plagues, natural disasters, or a cult-inspired mass suicide. Located in strategically insignificant space, Freedom's Progress Colony had once offered residents spectacular rainbows, lush marshlands, and stunning mountain ranges. Its potential as an agricultural settlement and tourism wonderland rivaled that of any Alliance colony. Okay. Fantastic. Let's not get caught up on reading a bunch of stuff, though. If y'all want to, uh, I'm sure there's like a wiki, wiki page for that. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Ooh, you sound jealous. <laughs> Just remember who's in charge. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna try to play it sweet because she's got a nice booty. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. So you can definitely get a little romantical in this uh, this game. So let's see what we can pull this off. I just hope it was worth it. We don't have to be enemies. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. Investigate. Let's find out about her. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Where'd you train? Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. Investigate. Tell me a little about yourself. Sorry. Worried about my qualifications? No. I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I wanted more than a resume. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Ooh, she's gonna be a tough nut It's to obvious crack. you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Oh, I can shoot you in the face really fastly. Where am I going now? What am I doing? Alright, investigate the colony. Alright, where am I going? The Asari, the second species, roughly 1200 years. We should be 
there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Someone could still be alive. Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. It'd be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. And a coffee cup? No signs of nothing. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. You're right. We're not alone. We just got our butts shot off by a bunch of robots. I'm sure there will be more. Okay, so there's some hacking involved. There was definitely some uh, some hacking mini games involved in uh, Mass Effect One. You had to hack stuff and all this different. It was a circular game. I wonder what this is going to be. 
Highlight individual nodes to find matching symbols. When you found two matching symbols, select them to complete the circuit. Complete all circuits before you run out of time to bypass security. Okay, here we go. Don't want to screw up the first one. What are we doing? Oh, it's like a match em game. Huh, I wonder where that one goes. Okay. Oh, so you gotta be quick with it because that distance, it was a timed, you have to get from there to there in a certain amount of time. Almost got me. I would have been super embarrassed if I screwed up on the first try while recording this, you know, you don't wanna. Attention right! I thought you attack <laughs> Taking any chances. Oh, it's her. Is it Shut Talia? those weapons down. Shepard, is that... You're alive? It's me. Cerberus rebuilt me, Tally. In return, nice. I have to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your word, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Uh, why did Vitor come here? Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarian. Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Okay. So, look at that. We'll team up or we'll handle it from here. Okay, so if I team, I, I want to just want to test the choices of this thing. So the two options here, I click on we team up and we team up. Or I click on we handle it from here and they're like, no, we're going to team up, blah, blah, blah. Or vice versa. I click on we team up. They say, no, blah, blah, blah. We can't do it, you know. All right, let's go with, um, I don't know, it doesn't even matter at this point. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to do it by myself. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Alright, what's going on with Cerberus? But ideally, if I could put together as many people from my old crew as possible, that's, I think, where the game's going. So if I gotta keep everybody in check. So, why do you hate Cerberus? Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now, we've got a job to do. 
Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Sounds like a plan. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Find Vitor. Fight through the mechs. The mechs. Here we go. We're gonna be fighting through some mechs. Be careful, Shepard. There's right. a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of you. Weapons are... Still got the big old grenade launcher. This little... Pea shooter. Alright. Got the sniper rifle. And... What the hell? That's a shotgun, I guess. Not a lot of shots in there. So how many guns? One, two, three with the pistol, four with the shotgun. No, wait. All right, one with the pistol, two with the sniper rifle, Three with the shotgun. Four with the machine gun. Automatic. Whatever. Assault rifle. And then I got the grenade launcher. Dude, that's five weapons. Holy crap. What the hell was that? Oh, that was the arm. Okay, so it, it automatically sets your hotkeys up top, which is cool. So, you gotta scroll through the weapons. I don't think I'll use a shotgun very often. I'm gonna be more of an assault rifle guy. They've seen us. Oh, have they? Hey, oh, shit. Impact event. What? He's gone. Shit. Hey, dude, right there? They've seen us. I did not see him. Overload on them. Um, overload.
Vitor reprogrammed the heavy mech. It's tearing Praza's squad apart. They did want to get to Vitor first. Get your squad into cover, and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Q and E to send your henchmen. Henchmen? They're my henchmen? What am I, a fucking villain? Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. Taking cover! Affirmative. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Henchman. That's a pretty, uh... Random. I don't know if random's the word, though. If they are random. I've never heard henchmen use a deposit before. Oh shit, no. No! What the hell? That's Talia. That mech's got heavy armor plating. Oh, no. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. Looks interesting. Yeah, these are different. I mean, obviously they're different, but it's doable. Swarms. I have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. I have to hide. All right, let's smack him around a little bit. Hey, I'm talking to you. Great. We come all this way, and our only witness is a babbling idiot. Swarms coming. Storm coming. Storm of Swarms. Next. You're not one of them. You're human. They they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Tell us what happened. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? 
You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. What the hell's a collector? Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, okay. freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Go on. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away, but they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. Collectors, huh? We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? I was Vitor gonna say, where the hell's Talia? He treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. Oh, she's gotta come with us, dude. I gotta put the crew back together. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. Alright, well, we'll just, uh, Vitor goes with Tali. It's this dude. I'm not gonna be a dick right off the jump. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool anyway. data and take him to the flotilla. Yeah. Understood, Commander. I didn't get nothing from him. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard. Good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. What about Vidor's data? The data from his Omnitool should be quite useful. We're still analyzing it, but more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Uh, who are they? Tell me what you know about these Collectors. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Transactions? What are the Collectors getting from these deals? The Collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and merc groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. Omega-4 Relay? Why is the Omega-4 Relay unmapped? What do we know about it? 
only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Why are they interested in humans? Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? <sighs> Maybe they're building an army. What aren't you telling me? You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. Yeah. We need to take the fight to them. The Sovereign definitely wasn't the only one. But I can't do it alone. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get yeah. dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. I thought I had a good team. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Yeah. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. I'll get him back. Let's go. Garrus? Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Ashley? Where's Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. Rex? Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. Liara? Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Okay, we were the Shadow Broker. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. What? You'll get who you need. What? I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Damn it. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. A new Good. team? I mean, I guess. Two things before you go. Maybe. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing Seeker Swarms. Seeker Swarms? And the second thing? Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. Joker. I hear he's one of the best. Better be the Joker. Someone you can trust. He's walking. But hey, Commander. He's all buff. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. Eh, How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. They rebuilt it. Obviously not the Normandy, but... Looks pretty dope. So I'm assuming there'd be some kind of really grand music right here, but since it's uh, YouTube, you know, you can't have any music up because it's all copyrighted and stuff, so... You can uh, be soothed by the sounds of my voice, and uh, once again, thank you for joining me on this It's good mission. to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Be creative. Oh, 
Okay, they're very creative. I like it. Very original. Super unique. Oh, wow. Looks great, though. They did a really good job restoring these games, and uh, that looks awesome. I never played this one in its original form, so I can't really say, but I know the first one they did a great job doing. The first one was from earlier, though, I think. I want to say Mass Effect 1 dropped in around 2008. Mission complete. Gives you an option to level up. Uh, mission summary. Heavy weapon ammo. You must recruit a head scientist to build this upgrade. Heavy weapon upgrade. 50% heavy weapon ammo capacity. Power cell. Used heavy weapons is fairly old but can be improved by rebuilding the core. More modern components. These improvements will allow standard power to yield more shots per power cell. Okay. Cerberus funding. Iridium found. Okay. I don't know how I select it. Okay, so we just exit, I guess. Headshots inflict superior damage. Alright. This is going to be it. We're going to wrap this episode up because it's running really long. Welcome aboard the New Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, a Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Good point. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Joker won't like this. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Great. We got a name bot. Anyone else I should meet? I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Okay, so we're basically... Use the galaxy map to pick a new destination for the Normandy. Use a private terminal to get status updates on your squad. Select weapons for your squad from the armory. the elevator to access Normandy's other decks. Go to your personal cabin to customize your appearance. Tech lab. Acquire a professor to research upgrades for your squad's equipment. A professor, huh? Journal updated. Using the Elusive Man's dossiers. Travel to Omega to pick up the infamous mercenary Zayn Masani. Travel to Zyre, Coward, Citadel, input the password. Silence is golden. Travel to Altera to explore the crash site of the SSV Normandy. Travel. <laughs> what the hell? Ziona. Cerberus labor from a near symbol the new superior Normandy. 
that was a lot of stuff right there it just laid out on us anyway I'm kind of curious to see how the galaxy map looks and see how close it was to last time the last game but that will be for the next episode because this is running uh, almost an hour now and we gotta keep these short so thank you for watching um, I'm looking forward to playing a lot more of this game if you are enjoying the content, or even if you're not, please uh, please like the video. Help a brother out. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload more amazing content like this. Uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me what game you're playing. Uh, what you think of this game that I am playing. Mass Effect 2, have you played through it? Uh, you know... Tell me where you're watching from, what game you'd like to see me play next, uh, what game you'd like to get for Christmas. Just leave a comment. Say hi. Uh, but anyway, um, I will be coming back very soon with more episodes of this. And uh, if you haven't watched my other content, I have some grounded content. I have uh, Outer Worlds. I got... Um, sleeping dogs content all gripping stuff great great stuff so please check it out um, but anyway until next time this is the atomic rooster and i am signing off have a great night happy holidays